This is the second of two incredible secret videos that will teach you a trick that you will be able to use to blow the minds of your friends and family. If you haven't seen the first one, check it out. But for now, let's get started. This is a trick about the escapologist. Follow along with your three character cards. Hold the packet of cards in your hand face down. Make sure the escapologist is on the top of the face down packet so we know where he is. He will now try to escape from us. I'm going to ask you to mix the cards according to your own formula. I want you to think of a number, a small number from 1 to 10. It's easier if it's below 6. That is going to be your own secret number. Now move that number of cards from the top to the bottom of the packet like this. Do that now. In case you've managed to follow the position of the escapologist, I want you to do it again. Move your secret number of cards from the top to the bottom. This time, do it a little bit faster. Now, I'm going to complicate things so you have trouble keeping track of where he is. My secret number is two, so move two cards from the top to the bottom. Good, do that again, a little bit quicker this time. Two cards from the top to the bottom. So you know that I didn't make the last move, I want you to move your secret number of cards again from the top to the bottom of the packet. Now I've got no idea where the escapologist is in your pack because I'm not there with you. And because you moved your cards according to your own secret number, a number that I don't know and you even made the very last move using your secret number. Still, I'm going to try and find the escapologist. Take the first card, the top card of the face down packet, put it aside, that's not the escapologist. Take the next card, the new top card, put that aside, that's not the escapologist either. The card in your hand, the last card is the escapologist. The secret is quite simple, although it's disguised within the procedure. The spectator selects a number at random, but because they make the move three times and there are only three cards, the moves are cancelled out. The shift of two cards and then two cards again serves to change the ultimate position of the escapologist. Simply following the instructions from the effect, the escapologist will always be the last card. Enjoy!